Good morning, everybody. So, Saturday morning, and guess what? I went back to the sale from last weekend that ended up, I thought it was a fake. They just didn't have it. So, I got this whole box for 80 bucks. There's like a few Super Nintendos in there, a few N64s, bunch of controllers. I got the SpongeBob GameCube controller, a bunch of GameCube controllers, Super Nintendo controllers, gold N64 controller, uh, the electric green N64 controller, a smoke black N64 controller, um, mostly mostly uh, consoles and, and stuff like that, no games. My buddy uh, my buddy Brian came through before and he got some games. He, he actually hooked me up because I was hoping to get the box to 32X and he hooked me up with that, so pretty stoked. Um, on my way to another sale right now that, that listed games and stuff, so hopefully that works out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. What is up everybody? Oh man, so I went picking with my buddy. We, I met, met, met up with him at the first sale where I got, you know, that uh, big box of stuff that you see. I, I kind of had to cover it up because I parked my car on a street I was kind of unsure about to go to this other sale. This sale starts, it started at 10, okay? So we got here at 8.50 and waited, you know, because we, we thought at first that there might be something up about it. There's a crash into this car very much room right here i thought there you know might be something up with it but we are still optimistic we we're thinking okay it's it says at 10 you know somebody who was faking it would have started it earlier so finally we're sitting here waiting we met some other another guy came up and uh we were chatting with him and we were all just you know you know just talking and talking about games and stuff and it was really cool so um 9 50 comes along and this lady walks up to the corner of the street puts up a sign so we ask her can we go over there and hang out and uh wait until you guys open up she's like yeah sure so we walk down to where the house was and uh they they open it up and immediately we we walk in and there was another guy that kind of like pushed past us he was clearly a reseller reseller looking for the games the guy brings out a tiny stack of games he wasn't going to sell the rest sorry i'm all sweaty here he wasn't going to sell the rest but we were talking to him and uh he ended up bringing a lot of games out for us because, you know, we're, we're collectors first and, and we kind of, you know, we, we, we were cool with him. So we bring out some stuff and we go through everything. I spent 260 bucks and I, I got some amazing stuff for the collection. So I don't know if you guys can see it all right here. Um, some of those right there. Uh, NES game is complete. We've got Elemental Master, which pretty difficult to find game truxton which i'm super stoked about and then these two gems right here metal storm and die hard so 260 i'm pretty pretty happy with it um i spent i spent some money today so um i'm gonna get home and get what i got together and show you guys what i got um it was a pretty pretty great day I, I didn't have high hopes for today because there wasn't a lot of sales posted but um, I'm glad I met up with my buddy because he kind of pushed me to want to go to a further, like we drove far. We drove really far. Like it's probably, I'm probably an hour and something away from my house. So I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, I'm going home with some great stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up everybody. All done with garage sales and uh, I'm <laughs> insane, insane. You guys saw the, the last clip there where I got like some quality, quality titles. Um, so um last video you guys saw um the very first thing clip you saw was uh, me talking about a sale that i thought was fake it does happen that happens i don't know why people do it but sometimes people post uh sales and they're they're not they're just fake ads or whatever to i don't know it it is what it is it's stupid but i thought it was one of those ones but it ended up just not happening so this week or the you know this time around i saw the, the posting again and the date was changed and i was like you know what i'm gonna try it again it's there wasn't else anything else really going on and it might as well you know so i go out there and sure enough it, it it's it, it was it was legit it was going on i walk up and the guy's driveway was just full of game stuff now one of my buddies was there and he got there i think he said he was the second person to get there and the first person that came took a bunch of n64 titles now there was nothing that was like crazy at this sale but there was some pretty decent stuff now my buddy had grabbed all like the Nintendo games and um, a couple other really good things. Um, he hooked me up with something that I saw in the picture that I wanted to get. 
Um, so there was that. I got two two things that I saw in the picture that I wanted to get, and then the rest of the stuff was just a bunch of randomness. So first, I'm not going to show you guys these because you know it's common, but I got a few N64s, uh, three. I got three N64s and three Super Nintendos, and then I got a whole bunch of like extra power cables, uh, AV cables, just a bunch of cables, and then this bag full of controllers. Now there's N64, GameCube, and Super Nintendo controllers in here. Nothing crazy. I did pull out the controllers that were actually, you know, really nice. So first we've got um, a gold N64 controller. We got the extreme green N64 controller. Jungle green. N64, and then uh, this one, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Um, I have a, uh, so a lot of people get these confused with uh, the Atomic Purple, but this is actually the Smoke Clear uh, N64 controller. Um, I knew that right away when I grabbed it. And that, that one's kind of harder to find, one of the harder ones to find. And then uh, this was sitting on a table. I didn't, you know, I, I nobody claimed it, but I grabbed it because it's pretty cool. This is a, it says a Joy Card. Sansui, this is a NES controller, so that's pretty cool. And then the one I was most excited about, my buddy was digging through a box and he didn't even, you know, he wasn't. I, I picked it up and I was like, you know, you didn't want this, and he's like, no, nah, I'm cool. The SpongeBob GameCube controller. Now this is really hard to find. Um, I've never seen this in the wild before, so this is definitely going in the collection. Um, not in perfect shape. I think it's supposed to have a nose right there but it broke off but still for what I got this for I'm pretty happy with it um and then there was these two things he just threw in afterwards this right here is like a back card for a wave bird I don't know it was just a throw in at the end and then this is a preview DVD um, it was already open but the DVD is in there so that's kind of cool um, I grabbed these two because they look really cool uh, these are some Japanese uh, super robots. Uh, I'm not too familiar with them, but you know the bundle was cheap, so I grabbed these through these new. Now this is what my buddy hooked me up with. He had this in his pile, but he didn't need it. So and I, I, this was something that I wanted. Um, a 32x in the box. It's got all the the baggies and and everything is in there. Really nice condition. And then a Z bag. So really really cool find right there. Um, with everything I had, all the consoles, controllers, cables, all of this stuff right here, I had everything in a big pile, and uh, me and my buddy were both ready to check out, and the guy, oh wait, on this too, I forgot, <laughs> I had so much stuff, um, this was also in the bundle, um, it was only missing the system, but I have a system, but it's got everything is in there, bagged, wrapped up, um, so really sweet, um, so all said and done, we're ready to check out, and he comes to my pile, and he's like, mm, he takes a look over it, 80 bucks. It's just simple, quick, didn't even, you know, count through everything and make some random price. He told us that he found everything in a storage. He already made his money back on random stuff, and the games was all profit, so he didn't really care. He was just trying to get rid of it all. Um, so, 80 bucks, I could not complain. I was happy, you know, just grabbing this in that lot, so, okay. Um, so now me and my buddy, um, we kind of had a, you know, we were just going to stick together the rest of the day. He had a couple other sales that he knew of that, uh, had, you know, listed games. They were a little further away. Now this day I drove a lot. Like I drove far from my house. When I ended up coming back home, I, it was like, I was like an hour and 20 minutes out. So we go to the next sale and there wasn't really any games there, but I did pick this up for two bucks. Um, this is a Wildcats uh, action figure, pretty cool, um, kind of video game slash, you know, action figure toy thing, so pretty cool to throw in the collection. <clears throat> um, okay, so next, this this sale, this one we were most excited about. It showed me pictures of it, and I, right away I was like, man, we got to go to that one, but it said it started at 10, so we were kind of weirded out, like, man, it's so late to start, it's, it, you know, it can't be fake you know because i mean it was a lot of stuff like almost too good to be true so we head out there we got there like an hour and a half early and we just waited another person ended up showing up and we were just hanging out you know talking saying how you know we're just gonna go in and and uh 
try to get what we want, you know, be fair to each other and stuff like that. So we're waiting and this lady comes walking down the street and cause we were waiting at the corner of the intersection. We didn't know the address or anything. And she puts up a sign. I walk over to her and I ask her, is it cool if we go over to the house and just wait in front of it? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. We're not going to open up for probably another 20 minutes or so. So yeah, that's, that's cool. So we get over there and immediately people start showing up. Like everybody sees us standing there and they start showing up and crowd of people. And, uh, one of the guys, an older guy, um, you could tell he was probably there for the games as well. So right when they opened the door, I walked through, I walk, you know, walked through the gate and he storms past me, like pushing through and looking like frantically for the games. And then the, we asked the, the, the seller and he's like, yeah, hold on, let me grab him. And he brings out this little stack. And in the picture, he had a bookshelf full of games and he brings out this little stack and he said something about like some lady was supposed to come and give him like insane amount of money for that little stack. I think what he was doing was he was trying to, to gauge what type of, you know, what we were there for, like as a collector or as like a reseller. Immediately, the other guy, you know, was like all upset. He's like, oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to do that. So I turn to him and I say, well, we were here to see, you know, about the stuff in the picture. And he was talking about how, you know, it's most likely not for sale because he didn't want to just give it away. So I said, okay, well, we're more collectors and we want, we're not just going to pay you, you know, pennies on the dollar for these games. You know, if it's something that we need for the collection or want for the collection or, or whatnot, you know, and he's like, okay, that sounds fair. So he brings out two boxes full of stuff and he lets us dig through and immediately we start pulling out games and I make a, a pretty decent stack. And I ended up getting most of everything that I pulled out, except maybe like five or six games. One game in particular that I really wanted, he had Musha for the Sega Genesis. Missing the manual, but I mean, he had it. He, that was one that he didn't want to sell. He, there was a few that he didn't want to sell, but the ones that I got in this stack, he was cool with letting go. So I paid 260 bucks for what's here. Um, good deal. You know, he was, he was happy with it and I was okay with it. You know, we were both happy when we left happy and, uh, you know, he felt good about selling some of his collection. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, start. So first off we've got metal storm. Um, when we were setting up piles, I had like a for sure pile and a maybe pile. This was in the maybe pile, but I put it in the pile and I threw him an offer and, and he accepted it. So metal storm right here, really nice condition. Um, I believe it's probably better, a little bit better than mine. So we'll see. Uh, we've got Castlevania. This one's pretty cool. I grabbed this one because it had the manual. Uh, Journey to Silius. This is a nice one right here. Uh, Return of uh, Batman, Return of the Joker, and this is complete. Really nice condition. Die Hard, another harder one to find right there. And this is another one that's complete. I actually upgraded mine. Uh, Knuckles Chaotix. And then we got some really nice Genesis games here. First, this is probably a little better condition than the one that I just found. Uh, I think it, near the end of the year I found a copy of this and I didn't know how crazy it was like harder to find uh, Elemental master Still missing the manual the other copy I have is also missing the manual. So I'll find the manual <clears throat> This one complete going in the collection for sure Thunder Force 3 um, They had one of these it was cart only though GameStop and I, I almost pulled the trigger like multiple times But the price they were asking for it loose like didn't make any sense. So I'm glad I waited to get it complete uh, Road Rash 3 this is one that I've been looking for for a while. This one is also complete I've been looking for this one for a while because I have one and two complete and number three was the only one I was missing I had loose cart and I got rid of it because I don't really like loose carts on the 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 Genesis so and then last one last but not least this is another one that I was looking for the case because I also had loose card of this one but like I said I just there's a couple loose carts that I have I have like Splatterhouse 2 I had this one right here Truxton I'm missing the manual but I have the case so really cool um and then I have a couple other loose cart ones but I had a whole bunch more loose and I just got rid of all of them because I just can't stand I don't know what it is loose Sega Genesis carts are just gross to me. I don't, I, I don't like them. I don't, you know, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'll hold on to a really rare one. You know, obviously, if like I've found Musha loose, I'll hold on to it. But I don't know. I, I, it's just something about it. Like 
these have hard clamshells. It makes no sense that the people would throw these away when they bought them. It makes no sense to me. So I know it's a little easier to store and whatnot, but Sega Genesis cases should never be thrown away. So, but yeah, uh, end of a little rant there. Um, so yeah, 260 bucks for that stuff. Amazing deal. Amazing. Um, okay. Last but not least, uh, this came from the swap meet. I think I got it for like a buck. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. And then these also came from the swap meet. These were a dollar each. These are all complete black label. We got Crazy Taxi, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Hot Pursuit 2, which I think I might be upgrading this one from <clears throat> from the like the player's choice or whatever. I think. I don't know. No, I got the black label of it, but this one's in nicer condition. And then uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. So all complete, dollar each. And then lastly here, um, three more titles to the Wii U. Now, I started out my day, um, I went and got these uh, yesterday, I believe. Yeah, I went yesterday to, to, go, to go pick these up. Um, and... Uh, I started out looking at the GameStops to see which ones had, you know, what titles I was looking for. And two of them that were higher on my list of what I wanted to grab was Kung Fu Panda and Amazing Spider-Man. And both places that I went to, it was disc only. And I, I don't know, I just not, I'm not interested in disc only. So especially if I'm getting them from GameStop, I'll, I'll wait. None of these titles are really that hard to find. So I, to the couple of the GameStops, they had a, a couple ones that I needed for the collection. So nothing crazy, but you know, three more titles off the list. I only need 10 more now. We got Monster High 13 Wishes, Just Dance 2016, and th this is the, because I have the gold edition, this is just the regular, and then Skylanders Giants. I know that that's a weird one. Like I had all the Skylanders and all the Disney ones, but I, this was the only one I was missing. It was weird. I thought I had it, but usually when I find this one too, it's disc only. So I was pretty surprised that I finally found it with the case. So these were all really cheap. This one was like 86 cents. So can't beat that. Um, and both of these ones were like a little over $11. You know, you have the Elite Pro, the discounts really help. So um, that's it. Not, not a lot, not a whole bunch, but quality over quantity this time around. Um, okay, so hopefully you guys are seeing this. Um, what's either Tuesday or Wednesday, I will be at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo um, this weekend, the 20th and the 21st. I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Pixel Vault Games, so come come check me out, come say hi. Uh, I'm probably going to have, you know, a few things out to sell or whatnot. Now, I'm not going to be bringing like a whole bunch, but definitely going to be bringing the, those two big box set things that I have. The, it's like a, a figure and then a Gears of War 3 uh, Epic Edition get rid of those things and and you know just just doubles to my collection and stuff like that you know trying to clean up get rid of stuff so i'm gonna have uh i'll have a few good things there so yeah come check me out come say hi um come you know just have fun you know what i mean i know there's another uh event the exact same weekend that's going on so no matter which event you go to just have fun there, there shouldn't be any drama or nothing like that i know you know if you if you guys are in Southern California and you're you know in the know you know that there's drama between those two things and there shouldn't be you know it's not a big deal you know I mean it, they shouldn't be on the same weekend but it's realistically it's not a big deal I'm just going to hang out with friends and have fun and and maybe add a few things to my collection no no real reason I chose one or the other it's just I'm going to have fun shouldn't be any drama shouldn't be nothing like that you know the retro community should just all be about fun I mean it's video games not even that serious you know no matter you know what, what you if you find a whole bunch all the time or never find any at all nobody's the king or nothing like that you know I know there's people out there that claim they are but it's just fun it's fun to me I, I go out there and do this and I hunt and get stuff for the collection because it's fun that's it you know I've met a lot of great people um, and it's just fun so don't let it get to you like that it's, it's not that serious <laughs> it's just it's fun it's video games that's all we should be doing. We should be having fun, helping each other out, you know, 
for the people that can't find things. I find a lot of stuff and I help people out. I, you know, sell stuff cheap and trade and stuff like that, you know? It's, it's all about helping and having fun. So yeah, I will see you guys at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. But as for this video, that's all I got for this one. So thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.